All right, legends in action. Wait, I need a better background. All right, legends in action. Give it I to me. Rad makes uh, good trophy for Luffy. Not a fucking shield, by the way. Not a not a fucking oh, shield. The shield is kind of whack. Not a fucking. My coach picture Sana and Josiah, is that good? I don't think it's that great, no. There is one coffee missing, so it's either Steve Evans or your team. We'll have, we'll have to share. There is one coffee missing. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I think he's not sharing. Jeez, the giraffe, the giraffe just spawned. The giraffe just fucking appeared. The split, like, at least the preseason was kind of hard for me because I didn't have too much time to rest in the off season. I, I had surgery. I had to come a little bit later with the boys because I, I wasn't able to to travel. And uh, but honestly, when I arrived, it was very welcoming. To be honest, felt like everyone was like very positive, very motivated, and I feel like. This was one of the main things that... Let me tell you something. Razork underwent surgery. He still prepared harder than a lot of, a lot of teams. And a lot of players coming into this uh, summer split. Let me tell you. Let me tell you guys. The biggest... You know, this format... You know what it tests more than anything? It tests, tests coach gap. This format is the biggest coach gap format ever, by the way. It's all about preparation, conviction, motivation, strength, discipline. So many teams started so late, so many players, let me tell you, like, I could, I could put so many players on blast. I could put so much players on blast because I kept refreshing and I just saw no solo queue activity. In preparation. In preparation for the summer split. No solo queue activity. And I can tell you, it really reflects in the, the result too. Really reflects in the result too. You can you can look into yourself. I don't want to put people on blast like that. But if you find it yourself, that's all you. We're missing last splits. Well, right, we want to hold Valorant. Well, right. well, Valorant Championship. Oh, oh words, this is what. That's what. Oh, well, so good. Yeah, I'm not mad. Get used to it. You need to train your muscles already. Yeah, I'm not sure if this looks better than the shield that we get first. <laughs> well, we're still winning, so it's going great, yeah. The reason why we are doing well is because <laughs> we... Are you playing good? I don't know how to say that, <laughs> you know? I mean, we are just better as a team. <laughs> <laughs> we are way better as a team, you know, the team plays there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we work together and that's it, we are, we are winning lanes. Show me Humanoid, you know, Humanoid, they had to cut this over and over again. You can see at his laughter. His laughter really, really reflects, really, really reflects how many takes there's been. And he was flaming the shit out of his past bot lanes. Let's be honest. What, 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 and then he said, how the fuck should I say that? Hey, and then he hey, said, Noah. team play. Noah. Noah, honestly. The beginning, he was a little bit more normal. When <laughs> this guy got trust and he felt like he felt comfortable in the team and he knew everyone. This guy is a fucking meme, walk, walking meme, really. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, I don't know. To be honest, it's so funny. He's playing so good. And he's uh, really open like spilled water. He really wants to learn, accept his mistakes, and he's like, oh yeah, my bad here, and just really nice, honestly. Okay, hey guys, we will review the vitality game, okay. because there's some things that we need to get better at for the next week, and we should focus on it in the scripts and in, in reviews. So. I'm actually... Like maybe like seven, eight. My man's wearing the reckless shirt. Out of ten on the happiness scale. I think we still 
are not playing perfect and we need to improve uh, maybe. no for sure like in terms of the preparation Fnatic did and before this season it was it's like for example humanoid one month ahead of split start is spamming solo queue he started the season with insane form and the same can be said about every single player on this roster by the way shit like that matters it really really does you don't get to fuck around and find out I noticed a lot of pros are having hidden accounts. I wonder if it's because people can't see if they're slacking. I tell you this, most pros don't have hidden accounts. Most pros don't have hidden accounts. It's just the biggest cope ever for a lot of players that are slacking. Mainline officials, mainly mid game to late game, because early game we basically every single time Ivan just wins us the early game and then it's easy to play. So yeah, like 7, 8 out of 10. Oh, Kaisa yeah. Brahm is goated. It's just goated. Have you played this lane? Well, of course, you just... <laughs> and then he picks Nautilus, do you think you're gonna counter Leona? Hell no, bro. Yeah, actually, Leona! You, you really want this? Oh, the, the reckless PC there. You guys see? You want to choke on Look at that. Probably a stupid question, but shouldn't it be normal for pros in season to be grinding at least 8 hours a day? Yeah, that's that's like... That's normal. Like, people, people play like 12 hours a day. No problem, right? That's no problem at all. But the work... The work that you put in before really matters. Are teams playing at MSI this disadvantage for the beginning of the next split? Um, it depends. I don't think that G2 is. I think G2 really, from everything that I hear about G2 and everything that they've done so far this year, I think G2 is a very, very good example of a very, very well put together team uh, with a very, very intelligent staff and a very strong approach. I think players need to begin to recognize that they are being pay paid a yearly salary and that players that players shouldn't be allowed to go on like long ass vacations. It doesn't make any sense, by the way. Like, what what, what are you doing to yourself going on a two month vacation? You know, what what does that even mean? Two month vacation? What line of work is that a real thing? You know. Chocolati, waffle, corn, cream, frappuccino. Oh, mama! You want this? I'm not sure if I'm allowing it. Look, oh. it's a sugar bomb. Oh, mama! You want that? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I thought so. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! He cares not. <laughs> if you put too much pressure, this. No, it's not just fire that whip on a fari. It's like finding form on a patch. That is what's what's more important is understanding game concepts as a team. It's not shots fired against any specific player. It's about being on the same page in regards to concepts. Patches do change, but the fact that patches change is the biggest cope as to why uh, teams shouldn't practice. Boom. <laughs> and whole water. GG. Can you believe that? He's eating veggies. I personally <laughs> think he's just trying to get rid of the veggies and that he just gets loose. He just gets no, loose. but I'm eating the veggies. So. Yeah, what's up with Spanish people not eating veggies? Every Spanish person that I know doesn't eat veggies. Razo doesn't eat veggies. Javier Dardo doesn't eat veggies. De De Javier didn't eat veggies. Oscarini didn't eat veggies. Razork doesn't eat veggies. What's up with that? It's always Ramon Iberico. Where is... Why don't they eat veggies? Honestly, I think veggies are way more delicious. Way more delicious than fruit. I've said it. Good. Good. Paprika and onion. Well, huh? tomatoes. Paprika and onion. Fucking mm. tomatoes. Everything they eat. Like, let's eat. Oscar can start eating first. Oh, Oscar is different food than first. Do you think a big reason why humanoid feels more motivated in spring is that nitro is check? No. Well, I, I'm sure it helps. But I know humanoid. Humanoid will do well when he believes that the team can do well. Like, basically. Humanoid will not carry a shit team. Like, not a shit team, but he's not going to make a bad team great. But he will make a good team great. Marek Braza's effort is heavily correlated with he, his, um, 
heavily correlated with his vision for how much he believes in the individuals uh, around him. And I think also contextually, I think the fact that the World Championship is in Korea, I think that fact alone is going to turn humanoid super saiyan. And everyone will finish and he's still in The fact that the group is like playing much better and feeling much better is like a collective thing, but I think coaches have been a, like having a lot of impact on this too. I feel like they made sure that we were ready for the split. We started there we go. with another Yes, team, yes, yeah, yes. I think Nitzer and Hiva are doing a really good job at least here. And what about Shaves? Think... What about Shaves? Ivanchuk? What are you doing to me, man? Shaves has been with you through thick and thin. I'm sure he just forgot to mention him. But Shavy Baby... Shavy Baby is 1v9. I think I improved a lot uh, from this play to the other, but it also... It's like playing a different game, right? Yeah. This from when you have a bot lane that says we can push this lane and then they do, it really helps uh, playing jungle. Not like when they say we can win this lane and then they lose the lane level 1. Like it really... It really makes the game easier it's like for jungling. Whenever you are in one team, and you change team or you change like one or two players or even one player for me the whole structure changes like honestly because this one player can make the difference so much and me that I'm playing jungle role it impacts a lot like literally a lot comes uh, uh, gameplay wise like where, where lane do you play around how do you move around the map it it impacts a lot and I feel like with the change of Noah Trimby it, uh, it there are tournament rounds on specific patches that are related to competitive play because I feel like we are all more calm uh, playing like not to force much just like we know we are better than them we might play we are gonna play team fights better than them so don't have to do anything like risky or coin flip or whatever <laughs> on, every time I like this if Adam gains main and Marek dies, he has a free slap. A <laughs> free slap. Free slap. Top jungle, great. Top jungle, you know, couldn't have asked for a better top jungle. I mean, I, I, I hope I'm gonna be playing with this. <laughs> this year's roster is the best I've been in so far in my career. I think it's not even close, to be honest. So, yeah, I would, I would just say that we are a lot better. I think so, yeah. I thought we are really boosted in Mad Lions. I have no idea how we were winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Honestly, I thought Mad Lions was pretty fucking boosted too. God. If you scrimmed, uh, guys, if you saw Mad Lions and scrims, by the way, the whole year when they were winning splits, it was they were they were the easiest pushover team ever. Like they were so garbage. Wait, what the fuck? They the, the whole team has absolute. Okay, I won't yes. say. I won't say. Much. Imagine going for five and not banning Zeri, man. Yeah, my friend. Look at that haircut. You were so handsome. What happened? Holy moly. Hey, 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 what are you saying? Holy moly. I'll say needs to grow a beard, man. Oh. They're looking at girls. Before match. So many people are saying, like, oh, Rasul Kumanoj. Jungle mid synergy is so shit. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, <laughs> they know, they know better than us. They're like, what the fuck? They're not dying top as Victor. <laughs> what are they doing? I think the the biggest mistake we did um, last split is we some some way on the way we sort of like lost uh, confidence and trust, uh, full trust in our bot lane, and therefore we shifted away from this playstyle, but in this like meta or like how I see League, you need to play this way because it's the, the best way to play. Because ADCs were just fundamentally broken, you know. Who would have guessed? And yeah, I mean this split on, on the other side, you know, we didn't get the disease, we performed, we had incredible, you know, uh, scrim results. People just fully trusted the bot lane. It's the difference. 
the, the, the difference maker, you know, because like if you're very confident that just join the just, just start, then, pretty much for we are need to flip eight minutes in such a high risk place, which you know sometimes it's just looking as an in because like he's trying to do something for the team. So yeah, that's that's the biggest difference. I think I came to Berlin and the day after we started screaming and I was like very rusty, didn't play scrims for a while, but uh, it honestly went pretty good. I feel like I... Guys, I get, I know that people like, I think both Reckless and Advian were not strong players. I, I know it's easier to point to, to Reckless, but Advian was not contributing much either. They just were not a strong bot lane. So let's, let's, uh, adapted well to the team, at least in boys, in game. I felt like Trimby had a lot of energy in comps, so I could do my own thing. And whenever I see something that's relevant or if they had Trimby last bit, they would have been good. I'm not so sure. Like, let's not, let's not go too far, by the way. Who's going to carry the boats? Bot lane. I think it's important. I will just say it. There's the root, there's the hook, there's the knock. Damn, this music. Storm still available for Noah. Now the turn on begins the root. From Noah is perfection. Oscar in. Able to chase him down and Crowny will fall. Not sure what off, but Noah's Noah. going crazy. There's the root, the hook goes wide and Razzle. Oh my god, he's just running into Noah. This is his crank, it seems. Can't quite land the hooks, but it doesn't even matter because Crowny's down. Razzle knocked back into the wall and he survives. Oh, oh humanoid. What are you doing there, son? You dirty griefer. AD carries, the best AD carries, you know what they do nowadays? They start fights. They engage fights. Were you offered to stay in Fnatic? I wasn't offered to stay in Fnatic, but I was offered to rejoin Fnatic. After. So basically, I I was... I was taken out of Fnatic, but I was in, I got the offer to rejoin them in spring. Fnatic pick up two oh. kills, the hook just wide. Shale Crowney trying to escape. Oh. Humanoid flashes forward. The scout of the week lands on one against the GA out of Crowney. Now Shale's gonna fall as well. And even though Fnatic lose the fight, they absolutely... Uh, what I was trying to say, uh, AD carries need to be willing to start fights and leverage their tools. Their tools is movement, their range, their spells, their gale force. They, you need to leverage that to start fights because you need to provoke the enemy to engage on you and outplay it. Uh, if you don't do this as an AD carry and you're playing to survive, it's it's not even trust. It's like people are misusing the word trust. It's like trust is it's not like some fucking personal feud. It's like it's it's plain and simple. If you believe that your teammate is going to play good, then you can play accordingly to him playing good. If you think he can't play good, you're going to play to that limitation. And that's it. Hey, I won't tolerate Jackie Love Slander right now because he's been fucking smurfing. By the way, he's been smurfing right now. Like right now, Jackie Love is playing really good. Was it a hard no in spring or did you think about it? I had some conditions, but uh, like uh, I wasn't super interested. Yeah, yeah, no, I know you. I know you weren't flaming dog breath, but I'm calling out Neuro, my homie. But he said true, true, so all good. It's the fact that like, like when when Fnatic asked me to to join in spring, I asked for a shit ton of money. That was the only like condition I would like join in the middle of a split. When I have very very little options in terms of going anywhere, I asked for a lot of money. I was like, yeah, you, do you need you want a uh, you want, you want me to step in here? I need a lot of money, guys. I know this is a lot of money, but this is the money that I need. <laughs> the Noah has still yet to die.
Oh my god, bro. Then we broke our rank. Bro, what can I do? So good game. Oscar is so good, eh? Yeah. At the beginning, then? Only, only, no, I am so bad. No. Marek so bad. Human is so fucking bad. Yes. What we do on both and meet? Marek so bad. Marek so bad. Thank you. Good Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Elioia flaming, <laughs> Elioia frame Marek. I wonder if they put like me flaming Mark in the video. <laughs> seems like we are approaching these bad moments that we didn't have many, to be honest yet. But we are approaching them good, and we are like preventing them before they come. It's not like we are playing perfect or anything, but I feel like we are all on the same page. We are really hungry to win, and I think like we are performing well individually. Come on, Ivanchuk. That's why we are winning. Bro, I will have a dream to that tonight. But about that was crazy. Olaf, ult up, I see Simple. you stun going me. Go into melee. Uh, Dude, literally, I was kiting him out. I was mega fast with Yumi E. His ult was going to disappear. Out. And yes. I had stun, yes. he was dead. Yes. And then he goes in melee. I'm like, that was so crazy. <laughs> bro, <laughs> Ivanchuk, bro, in look at this. I'm like, look, bro, Ivanchuk, we need to be careful with your neck, brother. Like, you got some. <laughs> he's got that giraffe in him. He got that giraffe in him. <laughs> that was so crazy. <laughs> bro, if you find out it's last, they will never ban Zion. And it's oh, it's Jover. Oh my God! Why are we putting that? It was first. Oh, yeah. Actually, based Red Bull Cola, the kind of based Red Bull Cola is actually delicious, but has sugar in it. So. Yeah, for sure. It's like after losing so much for a very long time, it's it feels good to. And even though even when we were winning last year, for example, it was like we win the game. Now it's fake news. Wundu does no shit, by the way. Just won because the enemy team played really bad. Wundu so just eats steaks all day, man. But He's now, spoiled as fuck. When we are winning, it usually feels pretty good, even though like we don't play perfect, right? The overall gameplay is like. He's screaming with Team Heretics right now, and he's too scared to admit it. Games, <laughs> uh, where I'm usually happier than if he would. Have Regular Red Bull games, tastes so. like shit, I think. Uh, it doesn't taste like shit, but I prefer other things. I feel like regular Red Bull. I think it's too obvious that it has sugar in it. I like the sugar-free one. The sugar-free Red Bull, that's my jam if I have to drink Red Bull. Uh -huh. Sugar-free. Oh, I'm stupid. I see the... Uh, Masterclass. You're so good now. <laughs> nah, Monster is the worst. Our ADC is trying. Uh, Monster will never sponsor me. No, <laughs> I know this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yeah, I mean, early game was really going really well. And I think I kind of got a bit ahead of myself. I thought that we are just stopping them everywhere and they are so far behind. Yeah, then I walked into Olaf. I thought I'm going to one shot him, but it's a top laner. So I guess it's not normal for this champion to just 1v3. I thought it was pretty funny, honestly. <laughs> even though we died, I, I still thought that we are winning. Even though it was, yeah, they got Baron off of it. So we were probably not in a winning position. But I, I felt confident that we are going to outplay them in fights anyway, which is what happened. And at least at least there's, we made it so we have more practice on stage. So that was the plan actually from the beginning. Nice. Nice Marek Brazda. That's, that's super like, cool. Uh, Oscar also has been improving a lot compared to last split. I knew he was good because I, I trusted him always, but I knew he was choking and he wasn't feeling comfortable. Honestly, it was not an easy situation that he he was. I feel like right Wunder, now more comfortable. I mean, sorry. Oskarinin, low-key, I think he had the best top lane performance out of the nine games played. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> sorry, Wunder. He's really confident in himself and he... One truly believes that Walter. he deserves to be in LEC and he's just playing it and stomping people, yeah. Code, we have a problem. Code, we have a problem. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> he's eating Twix. That's fucked up. This guy griffing. I think this, I think this job? Yeah, I think. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's the match of the guys. You see this diet, bro? You see this table? What the fuck they are doing, mate? They're gonna burn themselves out in best of threes, man. This is some fucking BO1 juice right here, man. This is BO1 juice. This is BO1 into grief. Like, low key, Fnatic game one, they're gonna smurf game two. Oh my god. It's Janko Zerazork. Yes, Oh, wow. It's Flak and Snow. Oh, my God. Damn. Younger, more handsome, better, bigger cock, more aggressive, better passing. Damn. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Good gun. This is what your ADC watches. What's Why is there three of them? I never got that, man. Why is there three of them? One of the coaches is Freeze. No, that's Freeze's twin brother. Nightshare. Why is there three? Cannon? Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Brasolini, remember, Olaf Ult goes down. When, uh, when you don't let them hit something. Even if games are like going bad, like there we, we have it. Have game or something like this, and we are behind, I feel like it is always winning. Like if we are 5k goal behind, 4k goal behind, I don't feel pressure. Yeah, I kind of look good though. <laughs> I look good. Remember, all our food goes down when, uh, when you don't let them hit something. Hello, hello, hello. I remember, Fanny. Even if games are like going bad, like we have a bad early game. Yo, guys, if you want a Yamato Cannon cameo in your life, you can book me now on cameo. Or something like this, and we are behind. I feel like. It is always winnable. Like if we are 5k gold behind, 4k gold behind, didn't pay for I this don't one, feel though. pressure a lot at all. It's just like, okay, we might lose the game, but we are going to lose the game because they played better than us, X team fight or because they are ahead or whatever. I don't feel like the, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, it feels pretty nice because last split, honestly, I, I, I'll keep saying it, you know, the top four was kind of free. Uh, we faced Astralis, we crumbled, we faced Mad Lions where we got knocked out basically because there was like two or three auto attacks missing on Nexus and it could have been a different story. So it just feels good to be back and then have another chance of, you know, like trying to go all the way. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, the music is on again. Heavy aware. Heavy aware. Honestly, Evie's Kisante games in winter were so fucking fake. Why do you think so? Well, Kisante got nerfed three times after that, right? But also, if... If someone is farming solo kills because they're Q3ing people into the turret, like, that's such a gimmick, you know? I don't think that's like an expression of skill because it was like dry Q3s, you know? It was like EQ3. Holy 
sorry, the music choice is very cyberpunk. Oh, Hi, I'm here again. I think it's gone. I hope it is. I don't I would never take a pizza. I would never take a pizza from you. It's offering, man. I would never take pizza. There's broccoli on this pizza. I would never choose a pizza with fucking broccoli. Why is he not accepting the pizza that I'm trying to give him? I will never accept pizza from you, he said. Disrespect the by Blitz combo, honestly. Like, it's so. Like, if we are not together, we just die. What the fuck? What is... What's happening on my screen right now, man? Jesus. Bro, I would never be able to do this because... Like, this is a sweaty zone for me, mate. I want to redeem myself. I've been not playing very good in the splits. I was in a really hard situation. I know myself that I have zero regrets because I tried everything I could and... I pushed myself a lot to. I see you, loopy loot. It wasn't enough. But you were my TFT like game. Split, I have the opportunity to actually show everyone what I'm capable of again because I feel like the narratives of me are like, oh, you're very inconsistent. Uh, it's a coin flip. And like a lot of memes around. But I, have, I actually don't mind. I laugh, them, I laugh to them. Uh, it's good to laugh about yourself sometimes. And in certain moments, I agree. Like, like I have some inconsistency moments, but sometimes it's just like hard to not be inconsistent when there is a lot of chaos going around you. I think like right now everything is more calm. I'm gonna be in my prime pretty soon. Just redeem myself, go to Worlds, win LEC with these boys. That would Why don't other teams make these videos? Because Fnatic have the best content team in all of Esports. No meme. He beat them, they lost hey. everything. Wow. 2019-2020 voice comes, but that had nothing to do with what G2 did. That just happened to be... That just happened to be... The G2 team is like, Wunder in voice comes is so fucking funny. Like, Wunder makes me laugh all the fucking time, dude. Like, there's this, there's this fucking line where I couldn't stop fucking laughing. We're about to head into game against EG at the World Championship. He's like, don't worry, guys. I have impact completely on farm. <laughs> I just fucking died laughing because all his matches against impact just fucking flashed my brain. <laughs> it's, just, it's just such a fucking funny thing to say when it, it is so true. <laughs> Ugh. Broke them. The wheel are now, yeah. SK, I think, changing from screams, I think are better than what they look like on stage. Okay. I don't know if they are like nervous or something on stage, but they look like they yeah, are not really. Okay. Confident. But I think they are a pretty strong team, so I wouldn't say. Okay, <laughs> okay, Marek. SK, they struggle a lot. And the mood there needs, I think, I mean, it's like the last game of the split and it might be very important for them. I mean, we'll just take, <laughs> Where? We take every opponent. Like, it's not like we, you know, we're, oh, they're bad or they, they don't play well. Same with Vitality, right? We take every opponent like they can beat us because it's BO1. So we'll just go out there. We will prepare the, the best way we can um, for them. And Mitch. With the way you guys played in week one and two, how can the mood be good? <laughs> like, it's not, it's not a bad guess from Mr. Knights here. here. Then, we see. You qualified. God bless you, Mitch. You know I love you, Mitch. You qualified. You had a fantastic week three. But week two and week one... No pressure. <laughs> I think better any wins, as always. Yes. So I, I lost T2. I want to win T2. Did you know that there used to be like red bulls? Like actually the nature they make this drink all the time. That's why you don't really see them as much because every red bull was fine. <laughs> 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 this is this is a Yamato Cannon joke. I feel I feel very honored here because I used to fuck with humanoid like and Ivan like this all the time. <laughs> Relax. Come on, you know? 
don't send me. Hey, yeah, I yeah, just yeah, want yeah. to go to Korea. <laughs> Can you do LSC coach TLS? No, dude. Are you mental? Coach, I refuse to pay Lulu, and then Lulu, I mean, Yumi is open. Fuck off. Fuck you, guys. Yeah, but if we win, do we stay with Aiken? Yeah, okay. if you have to stay tomorrow. Why do you want to stay? Oh, wait, there it goes. But it's a new thing now. Be honest. Okay, I might miss Kiki's mic on that. Oh my god! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! No way! No way, video! Three moments? What a week. It's only Monday. It's only Monday. Inside the pit, humanoid, no ult available, no flash, and SK are grouped up, four members strong on the top. Surge is coming from down south, Yumi ult is flying across multiple members, but it's the first kill secured to resort. Baron's down to 1800, available, a double kill for irrelevant. <laughs> the Emperor's Divide sends Fnatic to the fountain, and they silence Europe on Monday. SK, we have to move a bot and we're so fucking strong and we're doing nothing. No, but they need to take the objectives when it's fun, but they didn't take it. Yeah, they're I right. mean, there was one Drake when they got mass, like, we literally moved top and yeah. I'm doing Drake alone as Maokai. Okay. So they probably win against this guy, go to top. Oh. It's B. Oh, it's B. Oh my That's the one we wanted? <laughs> How bad is he going to take an envelope? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Bro, the boss, yeah, you're so hard to work with. I'll see if opening a fucking letter, man. How many unpaid bills does he even have? Who do you prefer, SK or Excel? Excel. Nah, who do you prefer, SK or Excel? We heard that one. Who do you prefer, Excel or SK? Who is the next cell? Who is the next cell? Although Peach, Abe, Patrick. Guys, choose Excel. Let, let them say that first. I mean, I think it will look very bad though. We just lost against the scale and then we choose them. <laughs> 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 Completely. My team told me they can't choose Excel. Excel or SK, and that's all I know. They can't choose Excel. Fucking Muppets. <laughs> I don't know if we can choose Excel. <laughs> what is this guy talking What is he saying? Wait, we can't? Oh my god, Nightshell. This is the face of a man who fucking fucked up, by the way. Rookie coach. He didn't fucking know the rules. <laughs> he didn't know the rules. I have I have a trick, guys. Always read through the official rule book at least once a year. Because they add random shit in there. Always read the rule book once. What? Then we're choosing SK then. We can't. Then I don't know who are we choosing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Rather I can than go. me here. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if you don't mind, first round. I can, I can, I can understand mind. being a bit flustered <laughs> after a loss. Yeah, it's fine. Guys, you're throwing me. SK, go. But it was SK or who? SK. Okay. But who is the who is the other one? Okay. <laughs> Um, I also have some main stuff. Uh, my goal is to go to Worlds. Korea. Because I don't want to miss Worlds for the first time in my life since I joined LEC. I want to win on a big stage actually, because I never really... I never won actually on a, in a big arena, which is kind of unlucky. <laughs> but yeah, so I want to win a, win a best five in Montpellier or wherever, wherever the finals is actually. I think it's Montpellier. 
I think I would like uh, G2 Fnatic final. <laughs> that would be a banger. We completely don't grief the draft and then we are all Gucci. I think the main difference between us and G2 is they're not that good in early game, uh, but then they play together. They're not so good early game? Mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this take. I don't know about this take. You think it's fair? I think it's, you know, if a team is drafting Kogmob Rome and uh, you say the early game is not that great, you know, then it is what it is. I have to say though, Yike low key griefs like half of the early games. So I think that's fair. If Yike gets his, that shit out of the system, I think it's good. Yike low key dies level 3 like half of the games. No meme. I wouldn't be surprised if Yike has the most first bloods on him in the entire league. That's how far. So long, so they're very, like, I would say they're stronger, mid to late game team. And they know how to play from behind and how to come back. So It's like, G2 played through the split with a very clear approach, right? The last two splits, right, they were shitting on everyone, just dominating early game, getting leads that are not so consistent. So they've changed their approach, you know? I think it will pay off in, in the long run. I mean, first step would be just, you know, having optimal drafts or at least like a 50-50 draft that's like very easy for both both teams to execute and it's like a straightforward and then it's it's a clash of the titans and we'll see all right good fucking video man good fucking video yo noah trimby is the shit man let's see some comments you can say it, humanoid. You have better bottling. <laughs> Rip reckless PC and got drained right. to close rack. <laughs> oh, she. She. <laughs> All right, that's good. Good content. Good content.